Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration has received a new five-story office complex from the Chinese government. The building, which will serve as a permanent apartment, was constructed after fire raised the former office complex in 2009. 21st October 2009 remains an indelible history in the archives of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration when fire raised the 10-story office complex. This compelled government to temporarily move the ministry to the Flagstaff House. After four years of occupancy, the ministry now has its permanent apartment, courtesy of the Chinese government. The complex consists of 141 office rooms, indoor and outdoor hydrant pillars, fire alarm systems, conference halls, among others. The edifice is also the first with an addressable fire alarm panel that will alert fire officers on the exact place to locate any fire outbreak in the premises. The Assistant Divisional Fire Officer at the Safety Unit of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Richard Lappi, says all the necessary measures have been put in place to control any future fire occurrences. The main office, we have this panel, the indicator where, in case there is an outbreak of fire, it will indicate. We have alarm system here. So in case there is a fire outbreak somewhere, we just press the knob and then the alarm will sound and people will be evacuated. The Minister for Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration, Madame Hana Tete, commended the Chinese government for the tremendous support and assured that the gesture would further strengthen the relationship between China and Ghana. Indeed, Ghana and China have enjoyed very friendly and fruitful relations since 1960, during which time Ghana has benefited from various forms of financial and technical assistance from the Chinese government. And I'm sure we're going to be able to enjoy a fruitful working relationship together. The Chinese ambassador to Ghana, Mr. Gon Jianzong, pledged his government's commitment to Ghana. While the Ghanaians are committed to building a better Ghana, the Chinese people are devoting themselves to building a well of society in an all round way with Chinese characteristics. China and Ghana are on the path of developing forward. The Chinese people and its government are ready to work closely with the Ghanaian people and the government to enhance the mutual beneficial cooperation for common development and the prosperity of our two countries. The $13,650,000 project is to be defrayed from interest-free loans already signed between the two countries on economic and technical cooperation. Salimated GTV News, Accra.